On properties with exposed soft or sandy soil, you may find burrows made by sand wasps. Sand wasps are beneficial insects that prey on flies and other insects, so you won't always want to control them. However, when populations increase, you risk being stung just by wandering too close to their burrows. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and treat sand wasps on your property. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about sand wasps, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. There are over 1,200 species of sand wasp in North America. They'll typically grow up to one inch in length, but some species can grow up to two inches. Compared to other wasps, they have stouter bodies with black and yellow or black and white patterns, transparent wings, and large compound eyes. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Sand wasps are solitary hunting wasps that will create nests in loose or sandy soil. Though they're solitary, several wasps may establish themselves near each other within the same vicinity. Burrows are usually found in gardens, lawns, playgrounds, recreational areas, and other areas that are bare or have little vegetation. Female sand wasps will lay their eggs in these burrows and fill them with prey. They primarily hunt flies like house flies or deer flies, or even mosquitoes, but they'll also prey upon grasshoppers, stink bugs, and caterpillars among other things. Adult sand wasps tend to fly no higher than three feet above the ground. These wasps are active during the day, and you may see the adult wasps actively hunting or feeding on pollen and nectar from nearby flowers. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. When dealing with stinging pests like wasps, always use caution and keep yourself protected. Even though sand wasps are docile, it is best you cover up as much exposed skin as possible with a professional bee suit to prevent stings. To treat sand wasps on your property, we recommend you start with defense dust. Defense dust is a dry, moisture-resistant insecticidal dust made with 0.05% delta methrin. Use this as a barrier to treat wasps who try to enter or exit their burrows. You'll apply this product at its labeled rate of 0.5 pounds per 1,000 square feet. We recommend you use a handheld duster with a long, narrow extension tube to treat nest entrances from a safe distance. Gently apply the dust to the entrance and the area around the entrance until they are thoroughly coated. Defense dust will treat pests that make contact with the product, killing them within one to two hours. When possible, you can directly treat wasps traveling throughout your property or emerging from their burrows with a wasp killer spray insecticide like Striker Wasp and Hornet Killer. This product is made with 0.1% prolethrin and will immediately knock down any wasps that make contact with the spray. Once any burrows and pests on your property are treated, you'll then want to apply a residual insecticide barrier to repel sand wasps from your property. We recommend a product like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is an insecticide concentrate made with 7.9% bifenthrin. When applied, this product will leave a repelling residual that will last for up to 90 days. To treat for wasps and to apply as a perimeter treatment, mix one fluid ounce of product with one gallon of water to treat 1,000 square feet. Once your solution is mixed, Broadcast the product over your lawn and treat the ornamental plants and foliage on your property. Spray above and beneath the leaves and spray to the point of wet but not runoff. Allow the product to dry completely before letting anyone through the area. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Sand wasps prefer bare and loose dirt areas. You may want to consider growing plants or grass to minimize exposed soil and thicken the local vegetation. We also recommend you rake your lawn and near nest areas frequently to cause wasps to relocate. Additionally, we also recommend you keep up with regular applications of Supreme IT. Supreme IT will control treated areas for up to 90 days, so apply treatments quarterly for year-round protection. 
Sand wasps may pose a problem for many homeowners and avid gardeners, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop sand wasps from infesting your property, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.